Well, here you are. Here's the notice. The consular from Romania. In Seal, Seal Street. In St. Helia. Let me just take a picture so you can see where it is. There it is. The old police court, as it was. But that's it. Mm, it's fascinating. Well, this is something quite fascinating. This is uh, a special day, two days, for Romanians in Jersey to get their passports and documents sorted out. They've got some representatives here in multicolored jackets. They've come over from London, especially for a few days. And uh, as you can see, it's, there's the uh, crown up there and there's the Romanian flag just there. Look. And they're setting up, they take, take new documents, they've got a big a long list there of all the people who put their name down. It's all very well organised. A long list, they've got a photographer over there who's taking the photographs. For the, so they register all their documents. And then they're sent off to Romania. Then they're sent off to Romania and they get their passports back. They last for 10 years, apparently. The passport lasts for 10 years. Children have uh, documents as well. They can have a passport for three years because obviously they grow older. But it's very well done. There's an interesting thing here. They've got a collection box because somebody's got to pay for all this. The, guy, the guys from London have got to come over and there's expenses to be paid. So the, the Romanians are having to raise the money themselves. So, because obviously there's no full-time consul, consulate in the Channel Islands. There's the honorary consul, and I hope we will probably have a word with her in a moment. So they've got to organise all this. I mean, it's a shame they haven't got a, a regular office in Jersey where they can just have the flag outside. Like you used to see outside, there's a lot of, I think Normans used to be the Swedish consul. People used to trade because they used to trade with the timber or there ought to be a lawyer's office or something that trades with uh, Romania, they could have a consul's office. That's what they really need, it's a consul's office, a regular place where Romanians can go any time. But this is an extraordinary initiative. And of course, in a few weeks, they will be voting in the European elections. The Romanians will have a vote. So they'll need their passports or identity card to vote. We don't have the vote, of course, but the Romanians living in Jersey and the Polish the same, and in theory, yeah, I don't know about the French and the Portuguese, all other nationalities, all ought to be able to vote in the, uh, in the European election. But it's, it's getting very well organised, and congratulations to them. Now here's somebody's well-worn passport, travelled much, but it says on the top, which is what we won't have soon, European Union, look, Romania, passport. Now of course the poor old British won't have those soon, will we? What are we going to do? Don't know, stay here. <laughs> do you have an ID card as well? No. You don't use that? No. So that, that's expiring, so it's 10 years and then you get another uh, one? This one is expiring in October, so right. now I'm going to do my ID card so I can make another passport for October. Oh, you do an ID card as well? Yeah. Why, why do you want an ID card as well? Because I need an ID card in order to do my passport, otherwise they won't do it. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, yeah that's Thank you. I'm with Andrea Gizoy who's the honorary consul for Romania for Jersey. You had a busy day today, Andrea. What have you been doing? Yes, today was uh, busy. Yes, today was busy as well. We had uh, four officials from London. And um, with the Romanian Association in Jersey, <coughs> with their help, we managed to sort out um, over 150 people, over 90, 95 passports for adults and for children, certified documents as well. That's right, they were doing, uh, that's right, the legal documents, you can stamp them, sign them. Yes. And your passport, remarkably, is only £56 for 10 years. <laughs> it's a bargain. Yes. The Armenian state is not charging anything extra, just 56 pounds. <clears throat> but on the top, we need to just pay the um, a stamp, some stamps and an envelope. 
It was very good, and it's a very good idea. But they, apparently, this is what they do in England. They travel around to places that don't have an embassy. There are some towns, obviously, London's got an embassy, Manchester's got an embassy, I think he said Southampton's got an embassy. But lots of England doesn't have an embassy, so they travel around and issue these documents because it's very awkward to get to London or to Romania, which is obviously ex very expensive. So it's a good service, isn't it, for people in Jersey? It's a wonderful service. <coughs> I mean, imagine how much time and how much money we save. Uh, we need to to book our flight to, so to J, from Jay Z to London, also our fare from London to the embassy. We need to take time off from work. So um, well, it's well, that's really it. It's on the weekend, so people uh, can do it out of work if they you know, they work normal hours. Yes. The other thing he was doing was police checks. He could organise because obviously that's something which people talk about. Yes, right? yeah. No, so we he, he could really organise those at no cost to the person. I understand. Which that's right. Good. Yes, just the passport is costing fifty six pounds. Right. The certified documents. Uh, there's no charge for them. Also the uh, criminal record. There's no charge. And we had uh, some uh, some people who are working for uh, JZ Airport. <coughs> They are doing different jobs in, in the airport, and uh, they, we managed to help them, which is which is brilliant because they can keep their uh, their, uh, their jobs. They don't need to travel to London. This is the most um, important thing. It's, it it save us a lot of. The other thing was I noticed you had a collection there today because obviously to put this on cost somebody some money. <coughs> so so you got to raise money to bring the people over to put them up in accommodation. Yes. And so, you know, this is something that you've got to raise it. Your Romanian people have got to put in the box. That's right. Does anybody, does the government here help at all? Do they put it in? The Jersey government? No. No. Except the constable of St. Helier, Simon Crawford, who helped me a lot right. during the, um, of all the visits I have from the Romanian um, officials. Um, I had the... Uh, I, mean, I, had, I had no other support. It's important that the people have their passports or identity cards because in a few weeks' time you'll be voting in the elections, European elections. Both the uh, Romanians and the uh, Polish are doing that. But strangely, not the Portuguese or the French or the Spanish or anybody else. I don't know why it's only you and the Polish. But you need a passport or an ID card to be able to vote. Yes, that's right. We have uh, the elections for the Euro Parliament on the 26th of May. Right. It's a Sunday. <coughs> Every single Romanian citizen who have an ID card, a Romanian ID card or a Romanian passport. So if they are a Romanian citizen and they can prove they are a Romanian citizen and they are over 18 years old, they can vote. Right. Again, um, do they send people over from London to supervise that? How do you manage that? The actual voting? Um, actually, I will have someone from London who's coming with all the paperwork we, we will right. need. And um, I have a lot of support from the Romanian community. Right. And um, Somebody has to count the votes. Somebody has to count them. We will count the votes, of right. course. And the person who's coming from London will take the votes. Right. Um, okay. to the Romanian so embassy. all has to be done strict. Yes. Obviously, it's, a, it's an election, so it has to be taken seriously. Yes. This is a proper election. It is, yes. Right. And obviously, this is why I'm puzzled, if they had the Portuguese, it would be quite a big election, wouldn't it? Because there's a lot of Portuguese here. It, it would be a big endeavour, so I don't know whether, whether that's the reason they're not doing it. It's too much work for them, I don't know. It's a bit it is a lot of work behind. I mean, you will think that uh, we spend just one day, but it is not just one day. It is one day and one night. Also, it's the work behind it, because we need to report every single two hours how is the situation, how many voters we have. Uh, if we have uh, any incidents or anything, what is happening in general? So it is not an easy job. How do the uh, the people who are voting? How do they know what the candidates are saying? Do they do they get do they get leaflets to say this is what 
this is what the candidate is doing? Because... I mean, um, you can now you can check on media on Facebook, on Instagram. Right. You can uh, we follow the Romanian um, Romanians news right. on on the internet, so it's easy to to know who's. Uh, who is the who, who, which are the candidates? And they vote for people in the area where they've come from. In other words, if you come from Bucharest, you vote for a candidate for Bucharest. Is that what it is? No. 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 The candidates are from all over the country right. at the end of the day. So they, uh, the candidates are. Uh, are going for the European uh, Parliament. So. But how do they sort out which seat goes where then? How do they, how do they sort out which seat? I would not know to answer to this no. question. I'm sorry, Mike. You don't know. The other thing that's going on, I want to mention, is there was another consignment of uh, goods went off to Romania, one of the local charities, yes. recently. Yes. What, which group was that, do you know? It's um, the Romanian Association and also me, like uh, Romanian Honorary Consul. Well, we work with Echo Home and uh, Master C, and right. we are trying to help as much as possible. Right. Um, my colleague from the Romanian Association, Raluca Kovacs, is helping uh, Master C the most <coughs> and um, I have a good relation with Rosemary from ECHO, right. uh, Rosemary and her husband Tony. They are sending um, around four or five trailers um, a year, they already sent two of them this year and uh, <coughs> I'm trying to, to help as much as I can. Right. Uh, of course we don't know what's going to happen with Brexit, presumably that will be allowed to carry on, we just don't know do we? There's a lady I noticed in Guernsey, she organises something, do you know anything about her? There's a lady in Guernsey, she's got an award in the honours list for sending stuff to Romania, have you got any idea what she does? She's organising, sorry what? Charity runs the same, raising things for Romania. I don't know, I don't know anything about her. Do you know anything about her? I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay. So there we are, a busy time for you. Lots yes. of things happening. <laughs> Any more children's parties coming up? Hopefully, 1st of June is the, uh, uh, the uh, International Day for uh, Children. So, hopefully, with a bit of uh, funding from uh, the Romanian Embassy or the Romanian Consulate, we, can, we will manage to, to do a little party for children. And we are uh, forming a group, a play group for, for uh, Romanian children. Why only for Romanian children? Because <coughs> we just want to keep our tradition and our language. And uh, we have some uh, Romanian uh, uh, teachers for Romanian language. And um, they will do charity for their community. So the playgroup, the children can... Well, I spoke to a lady today, she's got a little girl, but they have to teach them Romanian because they're at school speaking English and they're not, you know, they don't naturally speak Romanian anymore, so she has to make an effort That's to teach true. them Romanian. So. That's true, yes. I mean, we all need to, to make an effort to, to speak with our children in Romanian, otherwise uh, they will forget. And, um, um, yeah. We are losing the language, even we are uh, outside the border, but we need to keep our tradition. I mean, this is my own, my opinion. Okay, well, you're doing a good job by the same time. always very busy, so... You could do with an office of your own, really. You want a, a lawyer to hang the flag outside and say, <laughs> we're going to be the Romanian embassy. There must be somebody over here who's got a room for you. Somewhere people know that's your room. That's yes. the Romanian embassy. Not the Romanian embassy, no. A Romanian well, consulate. Consulate, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, yes. There you are. Well, maybe one day when you're, when you're really established, maybe it will be an embassy. I doubt. You doubt. But the Romanian consulate, uh, fingers crossed, will happen soon. Okay. Nice to speak to you. Bye-bye.